Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Tuesday, October 24th, 2023, the Memorial of St. Anthony Mary Claret. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, of the, the Son, Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. O oh God, who for the evangelization of peoples strengthened the Bishop St. Anthony Mary Claret with admirable charity and long-suffering, grant, through his intercession, that seeking the things that are yours, we may earnestly devote ourselves to winning our brothers and sisters for Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 12, verses 35 through 38. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel is all about being prepared for the coming of our Lord. Praying often, attending Mass, and being in the presence of our God are just some of the ways that we stay prepared. But it's hard sometimes to spend our entire lives in a state of preparation. Our own human weakness tends to get in the way. St. Augustine once wrote, God has promised forgiveness to your repentance, but he has not promised tomorrow to your procrastination. I'm sure that more than one of us can identify with procrastination in our faith life. Whether we're lagging in our prayer life, maybe we haven't attended the sacraments of reconciliation in a while, or even missing Sunday Mass. Procrastination in our spiritual journey puts us at risk. Our goal is to engage in a constant process of repentance, spiritual growth, and living out our faith. And there are many ways to do that. Every moment in our lives is an opportunity to draw closer to God, and we should seize it. In our daily lives, this scripture calls us to be spiritually vigilant, to keep our lamps burning with the oil of faith, hope, and love. Each day presents us an opportunity to serve God and others with love, to be His hands and feet in a world that so desperately needs it. Each act of service, every moment of kindness, and all of our efforts to foster justice and peace in our world become significant parts of our readiness for God. So as we reflect on today's gospel, may we be inspired to keep our lamps burning brightly, always ready to open the door at the Master's arrival. Each day is a gift. It's an opportunity to prepare, not out of fear, but out of profound love and anticipation of God. And so today, let's pray that in every moment and action, that we will be found preparing for our Lord and Savior's joyous and glorious return. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.